Hey, welcome all of you here. Today, we are going to discuss some major points or major issues regarding credit card, how to earn money through a credit card. Most of the people using credit card or may not be, but most people don't know even how to earn through credit card. But there are too many opportunities, too many points that can enable you to earn some extra money. Like we are not only discussing the rewards point only, we are going to discuss six points where you can earn money through this credit card or using this credit card. Like country wise, we have different type of credit cards, but generally all credit cards companies are almost similar. Point number one, earn cashback, right? The beauty of this cashback program is that they supplement the credit card rewards you earn from charging the purpose, purchases, right? It is not difficult to. Next point is reward point. As already said, of course, this is always the delight of earning rewards point for your purchase and and cashing them into existing gifts. Come to the next point, convert point to cash. Sign up credit card rewards program and earn points. Means you have to sign up with credit cards using the number of credit card ID and password. For this, you will get some credit point. Use this reward to offset travel expenses purchase gift etc next earn sign up bonus as already say, said this is also linked with the earlier point earn a sign up bonus reward credit card are being be big business right and competition among card issuer is intense so one way the credit card companies attract new customer by giving them extra point or bonus point during sign up or after sign up come to the next point perform a balance transfer right simply put sign up transfer a balance from another card to the new card one and enjoy a low or no interest promotional period who anywhere from three months to a year right so it's a great way Come to the next point, online shopping. As a result, credit benefit. Some card allow you to earn cashback or points by shopping online. You might need to log into your credit card account in order to avail this benefit, right? Get creative with expired credit card. There are some countries where uh, this concept exists, but some DIs are exploring their crafty side and making hand handmade swallow using expert credit cards. So it is uh, mostly available in some countries only for some customers only. Next point link a card with a core, right? You can link your credit card to a core and use rounds up feature to round your purchase up to the nearest dollar. Right, come to the next point, obtain an appropriate credit card. Right, during availing a credit card, you have to source the appropriate uh, credit card where this benefit or some more extra benefit is available. How to source a credit card? Source a credit card with low fees. You want a card with low annual fees or preferably no annual fees at all. Many credit card providers offer a no card fee or no fee card which means you don't pay anything for the privilege of owing the card though you will still be liable for other fee of course check those other fee carefully ideally you won't be getting a balance on this card at all the way to profit from a credit card is to put purchase on it claim any bonuses and rewards you are eligible for and pay it off in full before interest comes due. 
obviously this can go wrong if your circumstances change unexpectedly and you are unable to pay the card off on time you are looking for a loan to restrict as well just in case the other fees will include things like fee lived on foreign transaction if you travel a lot you will of course be looking for low or no fee on these well as well right in important point to look for sign up bonus some card providers offer you sign up bonus usually with conditions they tend to be very specific for example you may receive a bonus if you put something dollar on qual of qualifying purchase on the card in first three month right say that you know exactly what a qualifying purchase is and then plan a spend the required amount in the required time and congratulations you have now earned your bonus don't forget to claim it if it's not applied automatically find cashback offers cashback cards generally offers get cashback on a small percentage of your spendings you will usually get around 1% to 2% back on most of this card this is the equivalent of getting a discount on everything you buy with that card some card offer a large reward on some purchases such as groceries or cash others only offer the cashback reward if you spend over a certain amount next what big rewards valuable to you cashback card are a type of rewards card but not all rewards card are cashback in remember this some offer points travel miles or other rewards read the terms and conditions carefully when shopping for a new card some will be much more relevant to you than the others in this category you will also find that some cards offer better rewards for certain purchases an amazon credit card for example offers more point on purchases made on amazon than other purchases and surprisingly points earned on amazon credit card be converted to amazon voucher point 5 search for other parks some cards offer miscellaneous parks from travel insurance to free event tickets these are generally premium cards that charge an annual fee again this means you will have to look carefully at what is offer and decide whether you will come out on top financially by paying the fee and claiming the parks right point 6 take advantage of balance transfer offer this may be useful if you are trying to consolidate other debts and save money on interest payment balance transfer card allow you to move debt from other cards on to the new one and not pay any interest on it for specified amount of time they may also offer interest fee spending for a while this can reduce interest payment on your existing debt in short time term but extreme care is needed in these cases when the interest fee free period is over you will suddenly have to pay a monthly interest payment on any balance you still haven't paid off when using this card make sure you have a plan to pay off the balance in, in full before the interest kicks in point 7 this is your first card you will want to look for credit building card these are often offered to student or other young adult you will be offered a fairly low spending limit to start with and interest rates may be high used properly through this card can help you improve your credit score how do you see them properly some the same way you use any credit card plan the purchases you put on them do not spend more than you can afford and 
pay them off in full at the end of the month if an emergency happens and you can't pay them off in full always make a minimum payment missing a minimum payment will damage your credit score whereas getting a balance on your credit card won't have much impact except in such in except in as much as it affect your credit utilization rate remember that if you don't pay your credit card off every month you will pay interest and will quickly wipe out any profit you are made or you have made building your credit doesn't involve a direct benefit for you of course but it does panel potentially put you in a better financial position in the future right so these are the tricks and some points you can say you can use this point for in smart way so you should use this uh, points in smart way so that you can earn some extra point or extra money indirectly right thank you for watching the video